Hello, scholars. It's speech prep week with the end of the week culminating in our first presentation of the semester. We're still doing a few Skype tests for a couple of you just to make sure all the equipment's up and going. I'll be in touch with some of you that have had some various issues here in the next couple of days. But this week really is mostly uh, all about you working on your presentations. Uh, to that effect, should you want to speak with me about these things, please request a Skype me or send me an email. I'm happy to look over your outlines. I want to make sure that you are getting everything you need set up for that, and I'm happy to talk to you about those things. So I just want to quickly outline a couple of things about the presentation, things that I want you to think about, stuff to prepare for, and we'll just start really quickly with the nuts and bolts of the speech. As you prepare this week, remember that your maximum time limit is five minutes. At that point, we cut you off. I will have some time cards that I'll pop up on the screen so you'll be able to see where you're at. And I also encourage you to keep track of time yourself. With your computer open in front of you, you can probably have a timer working in a window or you can uh, perhaps use, I went to grab my phone and it's not anywhere close to my computer. You can use your own phone to keep track of time any number of ways that will work for you. But be sure that you're aware of where you are in your presentation. That's very easy to get away from things and this is the speech where we typically have the most issues with time. Simply because we're not used to the process at this point. Um, <clears throat> so practice with a timer. Know where you're going. And as you practice, put yourself as much in that situation as possible. I encourage you very much to find a friend or contact a classmate and deliver your speech over the Skype medium. Sit down at a computer. Work through these things. Check out what you're doing. Um, in all honesty, I would highly recommend that you sit at your computer and you record yourself giving your speech and you watch it back. Now, this is an embarrassing venture because you're going to note a lot of things that maybe you're doing uh, interestingly or a little strangely, but it's really one of the best ways to learn what you might be doing incorrectly, uh, what doesn't sound like it's flowing properly because you're going to listen to it with a very critical eye and it's going to be really easy to fix things at that point. All right, so we've got our introductions, our conclusions, our main points set up now over the last couple of weeks. We need to work on making sure that everything flows together very nicely. Um, do remember that we need to hear three orally cited present, uh, presentation sources. Uh, just the minimum. We'd like to hear four, maybe even five, depending on what you're finding, uh, and that we need to trust your sources as much as you do. Make sure we see them as, as credible, because the more credible your sources sound, the more credible you're going to sound. Now, uh, in addition to presentations, uh, starting up this next Sunday, you'll be doing peer evaluations. So you can see I've got the, the background up here behind me, and you can find the peer evaluations under this tab, very conveniently <laughs> called Peer Evaluation. So if we click on that guy, you'll see PE1. That stands for Peer Evaluation 1. For each of our speeches, you will be responsible for completing two peer evaluations. They're worth a couple of points each, and you'll be evaluating one of your classmates' speeches as they present in our Skype meeting. Uh, when you're done with those, they will be due on Dropbox, which will be uh, one of the other things that we need to talk about here real quick. Uh, so there's spaces right here for one peer evaluation and your second peer evaluation here from the first speech. And there's also a speech one Dropbox. Now this is for your final outline. Your final outlines are due 24 hours before you give your speech. I believe that's what it says in syllabus, so it could say midnight the night before. We'll go and look at that in a couple of minutes and make sure we're right. Um, but this is like the fourth time we recorded this, so I don't want to go back right now and make sure. Uh, but you but beware that you need to get that done early and turn it in. And then once that deadline is passed, it's time to start practicing. It doesn't mean you can't continue to alter your speech. It's just you should have everything pretty well laid out by that point. Um, <clears throat> as soon as you feel like you've got it up to snuff, go ahead and plug it in there. Uh, as a reminder out of the syllabus, your outlines are worth 10% of your speech grade. Uh, so an easy way to go from an A to a B, a B to a C, a C to a D, is simply just not to turn in the outline. And I'll try and send out a reminder email here in a few days again just to make sure everybody's thinking of those things. So uh, once again, if you want to chat, please, uh, I'm happy to do so. I'm a little busy Thursday evening, Saturday evening, and Sunday during the daytime. However, outside of that, I am at your disposal. I can be on campus if those of you, for those of you that are here around the area, and I can be online for pretty much any of you. Uh, well, not pretty much. I can be online for all of you. Uh, so please, send me questions, send me outlines, send me queries, send me hey, how you doing messages with funny cat videos attached to them or something, I don't know. Uh, 
but send me something. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you need and let me know what I can do for you. Okay. Anyways, folks, have a great week. Uh, enjoy our very soggy weather. And remember that spring break is just a month away.